Memory is to an individual what history is to a country. If we lose our memory as individuals, we're gone. If we lose our history as a country, it's the same thing. We can't forget where we came from. And particularly, we can't forget about the importance and the relevance of the Battle of Gettysburg and how Abraham Lincoln commemorated it with the Gettysburg Address. The words he said in the Gettysburg Address are timeless. They can refer to any battlefield that any American has ever fought on. Gettysburg is the crown jewel of certainly the Civil War sites of the National Park Service, but Gettysburg, it's also the crown jewel of all of the cultural sites um, in the National Park Service. And many people come to Gettysburg, it's once in a lifetime. The old buildings sat right in the middle of the Civil War battlefield, Pickett's Charge, one of the flanks of Pickett's Charge. It's called Cemetery Hill. We needed to get that visitor center off of the battlefield, off of Cemetery Hill, to preserve that sacred ground where thousands of men died and shed their blood that day on July 3rd, 1863. This project was a vision of the National Park Service. The vision was number one, to protect the archives and the artifacts. Number two was to protect the landscape and to preserve and rehabilitate the landscape that was basically destroyed by the old visitor center. And number three was to build a building that was sustainable. Energy, environment, landscape, water usage, and the indoor environment. It's the only Leeds Gold Certified Museum in the state of Pennsylvania, and only one of two in the entire um, United States. This building had the goal of lead gold in mind, uh, and there was a lot of pieces that went into achieving that goal. Uh, two of the biggest things had to be the mechanical systems. Uh, one, one major part of the mechanical systems dealt with the installation of a geothermal system. Uh, overall, there was 168 wells installed underneath the parking lot. Another important part of the lead process was the use of local and regional materials. Uh, we, we really did stress the use of local materials on the job. One specific example was uh, reclaiming timbers from uh, barns in the Gettysburg area. Those timbers were actually uh, taken from those barns and then reinstalled here uh, in the visitor center, in the lobby, and in the, uh, in the front porch area. This partnership is unique in the National Park Service. It's the only privately owned visitor center in all the national parks, in all of the country. The National Park Service is the stewards of the battlefield. And um, their job is to make sure that that battlefield is preserved for future generations, for my children, for my children's children. Plus, to give the visitor that once in a lifetime experience that they expect when they came to Gettysburg. Kinsey was very proud to be involved in this job. Uh, just you know, from a whole company perspective down, down to the team level, there's a lot of history that goes into this. And this, this building is really something that'll be shared by the American people. And, and Kinsley was very proud to be a part of it. Kinsley Construction took on the responsibility of getting all the permits for this project, got around all the no's, got to yes, so that the foundation and the National Park Service did not have to worry about permits while we could focus on what we really needed to do was raise funds for the project. Building this building is a project of passion and commitment. It takes not only the head knowledge of how to build it so that its beauty is equal to the beauty of the battlefield in many ways, that it sits lightly on the landscape, but that it's grand enough to match the grandeur of the battlefield. But it also requires the heart knowledge of um, making that leap from being a, a great building to being a special building. And I think Kinsley Construction made that leap. Personally, I'm just thrilled to have been a part of this job. This was really a once in a lifetime opportunity. From the team perspective, you know, a lot of personal pride went into this job. Kinsley Construction had 
all of that knowledge, had all the heart, had all of the passion, commitment, and tenacity to meet every obstacle and push through each and every challenge. This was a unique project that Kinsey was proud to be a part of. This is really a piece of American history. You know, it wasn't all about schedule and budget. It was really about process, not project.